A notorious dog in a Winthrop neighborhood. Police say it attacks other pets and terrorizes the streets, including the police chief's dog. Mm. And those who live in the area say it's been going on for months and they want something done. Ken McLeod is in Winthrop tonight where the dog's owner is trying to do whatever it takes to keep his pet alive. A neighbor's security camera caught the most recent of several incidents where Cora, the black and white pit bull mix, has attacked a leash dog, either charging from its yard or escaping its own leash. Dog bounded over, attacked my dog several times. The O'Gorman's mini Doberman was the latest victim, with his owner's hand also taking a bite as he tried unsuccessfully to stop the attacker from ripping into Bosco. And he was bleeding a lot from the chest, mainly. The vet bill topped 1300 bucks. Several neighbors told me they simply won't walk their dogs down Myrtle Avenue anymore, believing it's just not safe. Among them, the Winthrop police chief. I tried to get in the middle of the two dogs to defend my dog. Yes, Cora even went after the chief's rescue dog. It was a very traumatic experience for my wife and my dog. In most instances, the targeted dog has not been hurt. But neighbors forced a hearing tonight where owner Jeffrey Clemens paid off the latest victim's vet bill and offered an apology. I feel terrible about, you know, what, what has happened. But neighbors want Cora declared a danger or a nuisance, which could mean anything from mandatory restraints to euthanasia. There's something that certainly needs to be done. I just don't want to see any other dog get hurt. Indeed, several neighbors told us they just want some guarantee Cora won't attack again. Owner Clemens has already bought a harness and muzzle. I'm a responsible dog owner, and I guess i got to step it up a little bit better. The assistant town manager says he'll render a ruling within 48 hours. In Winthrop, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.